is Food Fixer. Welcome to another day of cones. We have this lovely patient with multiple cones on his feet. So as you can see, there is not a lot of fat pad on the bottom of his foot. And uh, how old are you right now? 77. 77. So he's a very good looking, young, fit, 77 year old gentleman. Uh, it's uh, himself. And these he's had it for several months and it's really really uncomfortable so what we're gonna do is we're gonna scrape them back and make make him feel really 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 comfortable so 77 that's a good age yes that is very good age and what did you do kind of before you retired i'm a writer what type of writer when i'm in love with a famous french writer called uh -huh. marcel proust uh-huh and uh, i wrote uh, several books about him. Oh, so you're like a philosophy or... It's partly a philosophy, partly a literature. Oh, wow. Have you heard about Marcel Proust? No, I think I'm not very cultured. Oh, yes, you are. But you can tell me about him. Different Maybe culture. Different culture. Because, yeah, you, you told me about the binding of feet in Chinese culture. This is really deep. In Chinese culture. Well, that's not part of Marcel Proust. No, of course not. Marcel Proust is from France. Yeah. Shakespeare is from England. <gasps> Really? Yes. So he's really famous? In France, yes, very, very famous. He's considered as the most prestigious um, novelist of all time. Oh, really? In the world or in. in the world. Oh, really? Oh, he's I feel really stupid Chinese. now. <laughs> really? Yes, in every country of the world. Okay, I need to start like uh, reading his books. So, what kind of era was he from? What kind of what? Era. Like. He, he, was, he, he, he died in. Uh, 1921. Okay. Are so you... about one century ago. Okay. Was he young when he died? Or? He died, he was 52 years old. Okay, that's quite old for those days, wasn't it? Not that much. Not that much. Not that much, okay. No. Um, and um, I usually ask her. He was very, very sick for all his life. Ah. He suffered from asthma. Okay. And he wrote a, a very long novel uh -huh. by the name of In Search. Of lost time. Uh huh. That's the title of the book. Okay. It's a three thousand pages book. Okay. And it's uh, absolutely amazing. And then you decided to study him because you found. How did you get because inspired? I, I found. I read it, I read this book for the first time when I was uh, seventeen years old. Uh huh. And I was so uh, overwhelmed with my, what I read that uh, since then I read him. I read his book almost 10 times. Uh -huh. So if I was a, I am a beginner, I obviously have not heard of him. I think my husband would have heard, heard of him because he reads. The <laughs> Love of Swan. The Love of... And, uh, one of the characters, which yes. is Swan, is the W-A-N. Okay, also it's a character, yes. okay. If, uh, you, if you go to the, well, you know, uh, I'm going to, well, next time I go to the, the British Library? Yes. And buy a copy for you? No, I will buy a copy. I will buy a copy myself and then you can read it to me. <laughs> we'll read it together. It sounds like, okay, I will promise you I will buy, buy it and I will try to read the first chapter. <laughs> I will try. So is it like very romantic or inspirational? It changes your life when you read it. Really? After you do not keep the same, your life is changed. Okay, I think I feel like I need to read this book. Yeah, I don't know, because it's not always, uh, he's sometimes pessimistic. Oh, in the, he is? Sometimes. Okay. Well, it's, the main lesson is that um, you must not have a judgment about people. Yes. Because everybody is complex. Yeah. And the most uh, awful people yes. have some uh, silver linings. Yes. That makes sense. Everybody's complicated. And yes, you shouldn't judge a person by its cover, right? It's true. It's true. Like even the, the worst people have some, some good in them. Yes. It could be evil good, but it's good. Yeah. Yeah. So then, you did you do your PhD kind of like lectured in his, you know? No, actually, this is, my, this is not my uh, professional. Okay. This is my hobby. This is your hobby? Ah. This is my, I was a banker as a professional. 
Ah, wonderful. And obviously all bankers, they need a hobby. That's a question of aging, it's, it's a question of experience. Right? Yes. That happens to you. Yeah. I guess it's true because... What happens to you make you, make you change, make you think about life? Mm -hmm. And change your perspective? Yes. What is your husband doing? So he's a, a family doctor. He's a family doctor? Mm. Ah. Sorry, he is a family doctor. He works for uh, Tower Hamlet, and his hobby is his hobby is martial arts. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh. Um, but he's not very good at it. <laughs> do, do you do it? Um, Jiu-jitsu. Sure, there's a name for it. So this is really deep. Does that feel better? Yes. Yeah, it's really, really, there's a massive kind of little tiny hole, but it's not broken down. I'll show you pictures in a minute of it. But you can have this straight and straight. Uh, right? You, I've, I've got it, so before it was like a hard skin, and I digged it out. Yes. But obviously it needs to stop because um, you dig into tissue, it will start to bleed. So there's a limit on how much you can dig. Yeah. But also you, you dig until the pain is gone. Which is why I pushed it because that's the only way to test if it's gone, and that was to do the callus on the side. Thank you. Brazilian jiu jitsu. Yeah, jiu jitsu. So he does Brazilian jiu jitsu. Yeah. Um, but I always find it weird that men are so close together, <laughs> hugging each other. He's got very strange marks on his body. <laughs> I think when men claw him. So that is really deep, that one. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go in back, in, maybe use a, can I have, hey, that one's fine. Yeah, there's not a lot of fat pad. This one's not too painful, it's really this one, isn't yes, it? Yes, yes. Yeah, you must be. So, is it possible to um, have surgery for this pain? No. Really? When, when I called, I asked for you. Uh huh. Oh. And, and they said, well, yes, but uh, uh, you have to wait because she's very busy. <laughs> very busy. <laughs> I said, I wait. It's worth waiting. Really? I am a little. I'm a little bit busy. Yeah, good reputation. I I I try. I try my best with all my patients. You succeed, you succeed. Yeah. Uh, 11. 11 years. Yeah, 11 years already. In the same place? Uh, no, so in the National Health Service in the beginning. And then... Um, the most, uh, the nearest uh, tube station. Uh, Bond Street or Oxford Circus, Regent Street. Yeah, yeah. How did you get here? I took the cab. Oh, you could even walk. Yes. <laughs> I think cab is 20 minutes, isn't it? From Pelican? Yeah. Yeah, it's not too, too bad. I'm just going to follow your, your heels back. It's very central. Yeah, it's very central. So I think a lot of people like it because it's so central. Yes. It's going on. This is so...